You know what's cooler than a 68 Dodge Dart GT with a Performance 340 motor under the hood? How about one with a 440 motor under the hood? This dyno tuned at 566 horsepower, 609 pounds of torque. And this little car right here, let me tell you what, you better be holding on. And it is a quality build. This is a show quality, beautiful car, top to bottom, in and out. We'll give you a complete tour. You can also go to volocars.com, look at all the pictures top to bottom, read the information about the car. And that is where you'll find a price tag on every car for sale, along with a monthly finance option. That's all at volocars.com along with the Buy It Now button. If you get real excited about a car and you don't want to lose it, hit the Buy It Now. That just locks it up for you until you have a chance to talk to the salesman. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon and you'll be notified when the next one's posted. But for right now, buckle up. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, I've got a folder of receipts that came with the car. There'll be a picture of that on our website. But you look underneath the car, the suspension and steering is just brand new. You can just tell by looking, it's not even dirty yet. Uh, all redone. I uh, just replaced the springs, the leaf springs in back, our Mopar performance, the shocks were replaced. Uh, it has frame connectors tying the front to the back. It keeps the body from twisting with all that torque and just makes the car steer and handle better. Uh, disc brake conversion up front, stainless braided hoses. All the brake lines are uh, redone or replaced, I should say. Rear drums are rebuilt. Has a new fuel system. The tank looks new. The fuel lines, electric fuel pump, all that's been done. Dual exhaust system. Looks like it's stainless steel pipes. Uh, and it has Dynamax mufflers. You'll hear it at the end of the video. It sounds great. Has the correct... Uh, stainless tips coming out the back, the square ones. The floors, the metal is just absolutely fantastic. The braces, the inner rockers, the pinch welds underneath this car is so nice. It's been prepped and clean uh, and painted black. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's spotless. It's all clean orange, uh, high torque starter. The transmission's got a lot going on. It's a Hughes Performance uh, built 727 Torque Flight Automatic, the 11 inch converter, and it has a gear vendor overdrive. So you want to get out on the highway, you go to your favorite car show, uh, you got the overdrive. So you cruise down the road real nice. In back, eight and three quarter rear end, it is a brand new SureTrack uh, Posi unit. The whole center section is new. So underneath this car, Beautiful, all new, done right, uh, very impressive. The paint is a Mercedes color. I'll think of the name in a minute, but very nice looking, very classy, very uh, uh, you know, just yeah, classy looking paint. It has the domed hood. These chrome louvers are new with a little bit of red on the inside, really sharp looking. So let's check out the body. So this is all clean, straight, smooth. There are no bubbles down here. Lines up, the rockers are clean and straight. Door shuts real nice, straight, no waves, no issues. Quarter panels look fantastic all the way down to the bottom. Straight, lines up right. This is fantastic. I mean, this is, this is as good as they get. All nice, all along here. Not a bubble, I haven't found a bump or anything yet. Lines up nice and square. Very, very clean body. I'm looking down the side, it's a mirror. Uh, everything up here fits beautifully. The paint is laid out evenly and when our lights hit it, boy, it really sparkles. Got some beautiful metal flake. I think they called it desert, desert sand. Uh, it is a Mercedes color that's on here. And it's polished smooth and glossy. It's all uniform. I didn't see any issues. I didn't see any cracking or shrinking or anything at all. There's a little chip that's touched up on the inside edge, I and mean, it's not even worth mentioning, to be honest. Up front, everything's beautiful. The entire grill, a little bit of the frosted silver paint's flaked off right there, but all this practically looks new. 
the bumper, the moldings, all fantastic. It's a 68, so it has the round marker light. That looks like new. GT emblem. New uh, trim around all the windows, or it's straightened and polished, but all this trim is shiny. Door handle looks new. Trim around the back window, and all the rubber gaskets are soft. The dart emblems are sparkling. New marker light. Look at the tail panel. It's all new. Bumper, all of it. Fantastic. The wheels are new. It also comes with the painted poverty wheels. That would be a real toss-up. I like the poverty wheels. would be real cool on here, too. But these are, I think, pro light. They're weld wheels. Uh, aluminum, 15 by 5 in front, 15 by 7 in the back. And, the, and they're new, the tires and wheels. You just put these on. The rear tires are Mickey Thompson Street Strip tires. Uh, and this still has the nubs on them. That's how fresh they are. Uh, it has a remote mirror. That looks new. The rubber's soft around the vent window. Really fantastic car so far. And I don't think the inside is going to disappoint either. Let's check it out. I'm really liking this car. Wow, well, look at what we have here. First of all, underneath is painted beautifully, just like the car. Smooth and glossy. The latch is clean. The jam is painted slick and glossy. Weather strip is replaced. The wheels are painted to match. And uh, it has all four brand new caps. I just took it out of the uh, box here. The others are still wrapped in their plastic. We have extra, well, there's not much paint, but you have the codes, a little bit of touch up. Battery is moved to the trunk. One, it cleans up the motor compartment and it puts a little more weight on that rear wheel when you're uh, getting on the gas. Looks to me like these wheels are two different sizes. Yeah, so you got wider for the back and skinny for the front, so you should be able to just use the tires that are on here. Uh, so all solid trunk compartment, the rubber mats new, really nice and clean in there. These doors open and close so nice. Jams are painted slick. Weather strips, window seals are replaced. The black metal inside is painted smooth and glossy. Door panel, armrest, window crank, all that's excellent shape. Dash pad is new. The instrument bezel, the plastic chrome is a little worn, but none of this is cracked or broken or beat up. Has a tachometer mounted to the column. Okay, now this part of it's new, so I just wonder why he didn't replace that. Maybe it's not available. Heater control panel, glove box. This lower panel is neat. I don't even remember seeing that before. It's pretty cool. I don't know why you have to push in on a button on the door you're pulling out. Uh, new glove box liner. Original AM radio. Got some custom gauges. New carpet on the floor with the turbo action shifter. And you have this move it and make way you can power shift if you wanted to. Bucket seats, seat belts for everyone. Seats are reupholstered real nice. That is the correct 68 material. Back seats real nice, upholstered, seat belts, side panels, armrest, rear window shelf. Everything looks real nice. Headliners redone. Dome light didn't come on. Uh, visors, mirror, all excellent. And then it has the tough grip steering wheel. I'm going to guess it's reproduction because it looks brand new. So really, really nice inside the car too. It says GT on the door panels. All right, so we have a built 440 engine, and it's actually dated 1968, uh, same as the car. Uh, and it's 10 to 1 compression. I uh, got, uh, well, I have some of the specs on the website, the cam that's in there, and we have all that in the folder. Roller rockers, Edelbrock aluminum heads, and aluminum intake. Dual feed carb, looks like a Holly. 
set of nice coated headers, MSD ignition. I like the finned valve covers. Just look at how nice the engine bay is. Whoever painted this car did an incredible job. A polished uh, alternator with billet brackets and pulleys and a serpentine belt. The horns are here. Upgraded aluminum radiator, has a shroud and a fan. All look proper. Again, just painted so nice. It's a show quality engine bay. Under the hood itself is painted beautifully. Squirters are hooked up. Now your hearing here is a cold start in all these videos. Not warmed up yet. I can tell this thing's a monster. Excellent oil pressure. There's just a touch. I just was talking off camera. This is a really nice car. Uh, it, it would cost far more than we're asking to even duplicate this. If you go to the car show, you're going to do fantastic. It's going to get compliments. But the real fun is when you get behind the wheel and you put that 500 plus horsepower to them back tires in this little car. Then you'll have some real fun there. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help answer questions, including how to get it delivered to your door and how to get it financed. It's all at volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next exciting car is posted. Thanks for watching.